The data validation feature of the WPS spreadsheet can help us quickly complete the setting of input conditions and drop-down menus, thereby improving the accuracy of our input data. Take this form as an example. Now we need to enter a 9-digit US passport number in column C. We can use data validation to improve the accuracy of our input data. Select the cell range, click the Data tab, then click the Validation drop-down button. Now select the Validation option in the drop-down menu. Here we can set the required type of input data. Click the Settings button, then select Text Length in the Allow option. Select Equal to in the Data tab and enter 9 in Value. We now enter the value in the Set Cell area. When the value length is not equal to 9, it will prompt an error message. Therefore, we can effectively avoid entering the wrong data. We can also use the Data Validity feature to make a drop-down menu and enter the data. In the Insurance Purchased column, we need to fill in the Yes and No information. Select the cell area, then click the Validation drop-down button. In the pop-up Data Validation dialog box, click the Settings button and select List in the Allow option. Enter yes and no in the source edit box. Separate them by commas and click OK. In this way, when inputting status information, we can directly select the input content. If we want to cancel, just click clear all in the data validation dialog box. These are some skills in setting input conditions and drop-down menus. Did you get it?